क्वेश्चन नंबर 161 कंप्लीट द एनालॉगी पार्मिटिक एसिड इज टू 16 कार्बन देन एराकिडोनिक इज टू व्हाट इन एराकिडोनिक एसिड 20 कार्बन्स आर प्रेजेंट इंक्लूडिंग द कार्बोक्सिलिक कार्बन सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर 2 लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर 162 इन द ग्राफ गिवन बिलो if the y-axis represents the velocity of a typical enzyme reaction, then the x-axis can represent. And the options given are substrate concentration or pH. In case of pH, this type of graph comes. But when on x-axis, substrate concentration is present, then the graph that we obtain will be like this. So, this cannot be a correct answer. Option number 2, temperature or pH. In case of temperature, also this type of graph comes. So, this is correct. Third option, temperature or substrate concentration. Again, because of substrate concentration, this cannot be a correct answer. Fourth option is only substrate concentration. This is also incorrect. So, correct answer to our question is, Option number 2. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 163. During a particular enzymatic reaction, the activity of succinic dehydrogenase is inhibited by the addition of malonate. This is a classic example of. Malonate competes with succinate for the active site of enzyme succinate dehydrogenase. And this is a classical example of competitive inhibition. So, correct answer to our question is option number fourth. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 164. Read the following statements and choose the correct option. Say, exoskeleton of arthropods is made up of chitin. This is a correct statement. Statement B, chitin is a polymer of anacetyl glucosamine. This is also a correct statement. So, both statements are correct. So, correct answer to our question is option number 3. Let's see the next question. Question number 165, which of the following elements constitutes negligible percentage weight of human body? And the options given are carbon, nitrogen, calcium and silicon. If we see percentage weight of human body, then carbon is around 18.5%. is around 3.3% and calcium is around 1.5% and silicon is negligible. So correct answer to our question is Option number fourth, silicon. Let's move on to the next question. 